Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play L.A. Noir: The Homicide Division. Uh, now I'm just going to warn you that there's a lot of editing and video bits being cut out. Um, the reason for that is because most of the, or the two cases I've done so far in the Homicide Division, and I'm assuming all of the cases in the Homicide Division, um, are the murder of women um, who are then kind of stripped naked and kind of put somewhere rather obvious. Um, YouTube's rules on naked bodies seems to be very kind of, no, bad, none at all, um, despite being A, in a game, and B, dead. So I've just decided to cut, try and cut them all, cut out all of the bits um, where it could be, oh, they're, they're naked, oh, bad, bad, that doesn't fit YouTube terms of service. So, if you like, when you're like, if you're watching this, if you're hearing this, I assume you are. Um, there's going to be lots of um, kind of video cut out, cut out around the crime scene. That's the only real time that I'm worrying about. But that should be pretty much everything. Um, I think I've got all the bits. So hopefully, there's not going to be any issues with YouTube if they decide to change things and say if you break this policy, you're off. Um, so yes, enjoy. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose at the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Who are you asking not to the streets of LA? Like you just patrol. Oh, okay, we just patrol it. Okay, not really gonna bother, I don't think. Do you have the address? Been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Oh, there's an oxymoron for you. I don't think our guys get on by the sounds of it. I must be going crazy. I'd rather you took the wheel. Okay. Don't know why you trust me with driving. Right, where are we going? We are over that way. Okay. So, turn right, and then right, and then just follow the road around. Okay. I can do that. I can follow. I can follow a straight road. What happened to Rose? Parker wants to teach job. Where it is, it's either going to be him or that. Then the boss clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? I flipped. Leave me sound, saddled right. with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The galleon. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black galleon. Any closer to catching him? Not a chance. 
six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. So be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. I'm not, I'm, I'm turned on the wrong, oh, yeah, I should have turned the one before. Um, so, before the tunnel, we can turn and then go left. Although I think there's another tunnel here anyway. I think that's another tunnel. I don't know. So I don't think overly matters. And then we'll turn left with these lights. Yeah, another tunnel. Me. So yeah, we're just gonna go straight down here and find out the werewolf. Of course, we are gonna abide by the rules of the road. Someone just randomly walking across the road. Yeah, I think... I mean, I probably could just drive, but then you're gonna hit people and do damage, and then the game will be like... And the controls are not easy. Like being careful with speed. So it's almost like it's made to be like a you rush ahead and. Whoa! Oops. So although it means I miss all the kind of like street crimes, I kind of prefer to be like. You're, you're gonna drive. I don't know why they've put these lights. I, I guess it's, just, well, it's to make it feel more realistic. Yeah, we'll just follow this around. Here we are. Oh my goodness, that's it. Breathe, Delph. Breathe, damn it. You were, the, you were the one who said you wanted to... Crime scene is just up a dirt road, Detective. Yes. You are the one who said you didn't want to drive. You wanted me to drive. Now you're learning that that was stupid. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram.
Hmm. I'm gonna have to edit them out. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's look at other things first. Because, yes. The various YouTube thing rules now will mean that I have to edit and cut things out. So that's gonna be fun. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. What part of it? Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. I assume that will not help us in the slightest. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. I'm going to look at the other bits and pieces first. This will be her bag, I assume. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Okay, there's one used on the body. Okay, we're learning. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, um, I would have gone to the body first, most likely. It's just... I don't want to... Well, I probably should just cut a mess. It's like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is... Should have gone the other way. Yeah, this is just the world, so the Americas line up. Oh. There we go. Ah. Club. Why steal a table lighter? I don't know. You can find out. So it looks like we're looking at the body now. Editing! Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. She hasn't been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. Okay, so there's nothing on her right arm or right hand. The head, horrible bruising. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. To the right temple and the left kind of jaw area. I said, what's anything on the left thing? What about this wound on the finger? It looks like a ring's been removed. Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Nails are cracked as well. But it's the left middle finger, so it's not a wedding ring. Hmm. Interesting. Language. It's signed BD. Black Dahlia, I assume. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Uh, I think that's everything. For that, let's head off then. Oh, come on, Cole. Thank you. Let's get back to the car. Is that our car? Yeah, this is our car. Can I talk to you? Okay. Actually, you drive. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? You said the Bamba Club. No. The nice werewolf? Food. For my money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. 
caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nets. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, Oddshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the courts? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish. Please. That wasn't me. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. There's some opportunist who's been reading about the BD papers. He'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with a lot of but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch <laughs> after the short murder of them, local. <laughs> Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? <laughs> dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You would have found him. Maybe I should drive again. <laughs> Why have they put us together? We're both terrible drivers. Here we go. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair. About 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Not seven C's. 